Holler. FBI, move away from your computers. We have a warrant from a federal court. Please stay in your seats and let us do our job. Thank you for your cooperation. You, get up. Yeah, you. All right, lawyer. Lawyer. Lawyer! Sir, we have a warrant for your arrest. You can get a lawyer, lawyer. when you're holding yourself. Lawyer. William Stern, you are under arrest for lawyer. insider trading and securities lawyer. fraud. You have lawyer. the right to remain silent. You might want to exercise that Come on, right. let's go. Let's go, smart guy. It was, I don't know, like a long, dark night of the soul. Don't fucking toss cliches at me. You're having some crisis? Fine, see you shrink. But you, you were having fun jerking us around. Look, the easy pass, I was scared. I came back on my own, didn't I? Plus, I got you Axe ordering the Camelot trade. Everything you asked for. No, not everything. We don't have the source of the inside information, which you know is a key fucking element in this prosecution because he gave it to you in the blocked room. I can tell you everything Axe said. The insider source, he's a high-ranking FDA guy. Name? Uh, Glenn Gilmartin, I think. I'm sorry, I assumed you had it on tape. Guy's legit, works for the FDA. What else did he say? <laughs> uh, Axe paid him off, didn't say how much. But I get the feeling, I get the, uh, get the, I'm really tired, can we do this tomorrow? No, we fucking cannot, sit the fuck back down. No. Listen, I feel really sick, you, you're right. I did think about not coming back, but I decided. I'll give you what you need. I'll testify against the ax, but right now, I need- uh, oh, oh, Holy oh, shit, oh, Donnie! No. Donnie! Oh, fuck. Buddy. Donnie! Can you hear me? Donnie! I'll Donnie. go get somebody. God damn it, Donnie. Donnie! Donnie! Can you hear me? Donnie! Jesus. Donnie. Jesus. God damn it. Justice. Rooted in truth, watered by tenacity, and flowering in wisdom, may be the single most beautiful expression of humanity. For a man to dedicate his life in its pursuit and rings of a certain nobility. And this day we gather to acknowledge that nobility in the honorable wit Wilcox, devoted servant of justice and one of its most industrious sentinels. Congratulations, Judge Wilcox, and thank you for your noble service. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. Hello, Judge. You're going to jail. You may even own it. You're a fucking liar. I said the Southern District wouldn't prosecute. I can't speak for Eastern. You'll be coming with us. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Larry. In a few moments, the FBI are going to come walking through that door and they're going to arrest you. You can't run. There's no time. Rhodes fucked me like you thought he would. And you got the call before you went on, didn't you? 
Your whole manner changed. You didn't even warn me. I couldn't. Because you needed me to go on the air to corroborate your story, get your message out, save your quarter. I get it. It was smart. This is some fucked up universe we've decided to live in. How can I help now? Hold this for me. And I need you to get word to my lawyer. And Linda? Make sure she tells the kids before they find out from the news. Done. Larry. I know. Lawrence Boyd, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. I thought you were ready to take the next step. I thought you understood the goddamn game. Oh, I believe I do, sir. I believe I do. Hello, Bob. Well, I don't put any stock in omens or fortune tellers, but this must feel a little like your future foretold. You mean watching you arrest other people while I walk right out the door? Yeah, kind of does. What if I told you that pretty much every decision I've made since we worked down here together has been the wrong one? Would you help me find my way back? Yes. I'd like that very much. That is exactly what we'll do together. Robert Axelrod, you're under arrest. Let's go, bud. Let's go. Are you going to bring Maria? She's right there. Who is that? Maria Gonzalez. That may be a Maria Gonzalez, but that is not our Maria Gonzalez. That is the wrong Maria Gonzalez. Do you have someone else here with that name? We did, until she was put on a goodbye charter from Nork Liberty. It's gotta be some bureaucratic screw-up. No, it doesn't. Somebody knew she was gonna be picked up before we did and got to her info. It says acts written all over it. No, the Fulbright's a capstone, the Marshall's for real scholars. Well, prestigious though. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm getting one. I'm getting one, too. Oh, well. I'm gonna get some more ice cream. Does anybody want some? Up your eyes! Step back, everyone! Dr. Gilbert, this is a properly executed search warrant. Um, Dad? What's going on? Why are these men here? It's a mistake. I, I haven't done anything wrong. You sure about that, Doc? Get after it, people! You got this backwards. I've been working with Rhodes. Oh, he did. You're not the catcher. Oh my God, Harry. Those are the.
the certs on the 4140, the high strength low alloy, and the nickel chromium. Here, your rightful compensation. Take them. Let's talk about next month's chromium vanadium. Your stuff's not bad. Well, it's gonna look much better after you're done with it. Chief YPD, keep your hands where I can see them. Couple, get him out of here. Wait, wait, keep wait, your wait, hands wait. where I can see him. Hey, quiet. Fuck Couple, is going on, Jack? Get down. Jack. Okay, you can stop Did recording. You this Sit down. Jack. Sir, uh, give him the space, boys. Jack. No. Yes, Jack. Looks like you just got your manhood caught in a tiger trap. I know that you have built a good chunk of your fortune on cheap steel deals. It's a hell of a scheme. I admire its grift and effectiveness. You import the subpar goods, get your men at the ratings agency to market high grade, and sell it into state-run projects at top dollar. And the problem is it's not only illegal, it's fucking dangerous. And someone is gonna get hurt. You know, imagine what people would say if they learned that the new bridges and rails they ride on were built of inferior stuff. And if they had cause to look back through your past, municipal works well. I mean, the fallout from that in terms of liability could bankrupt an aster. What are you doing? Hmm? Just what are you doing? You know, it's a good thing that this is my operation and I alone have the discretion to move forward in processing and prosecuting the felons involved. How fortunate we all were to live in the time of Jack Foley. One of the last men of might and principle. He was a Caesar. And what did they do at the funeral of a Caesar? At the funeral of Gaius Julius Caesar, a man stood at the rostrum and called out criminals and conspirators. Those in the Senate that would sully Caesar's city and dishonor his legacy. And I come today to do the same. When the people heard what they had done in the Senate, they set upon them, tearing some apart and forcing others from the city. Now, I have been empowered by my great friend, your august governor, not to allow blood sport, but to bring justice to the venal actors who have betrayed our great commonwealth. Immunity. I thought we had a deal. No deal for you, pal. And we will continue to purge these pews until corruption has been cleansed from the Empire State. Oh, Jack, I hope I've learned well from you, that I have honored you, and that I have given you a proper send-off. That f***ing sucks. Yeah? Oh, the amount of goddamn pot these little girls smoke. <laughs> Back in the day, they'd have been called grasshoppers. <laughs> Well, they're exaggerating a little. Me, I never liked to get too stoned. Only enough to make you want to fuck. Oh, you just need a nice sativa blend. A what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up, little badass? FBI, let me see your hand! Don't you lay a hand on her! Ask him about the idiot. Who's that? The guy who secretly brokered his land deal. Better? 
Tell him we have the guy. Well, who the hell is it? I don't know, but that's what he referred to him as. Okay. Cards on the table. That uh, Cretan that helped you snag the land. Uh, what is it you so lovingly call him, the idiot? We have him. He is singing like Hank Williams the Elder telling us all about your cheating heart. That would be bad news for me. Yeah. If it were true. So, if he's in the next room, bring him in. I can't let you have that access. Then just tell me his name. I'm in the information intake business, not the reverse. <laughs> what I fucking thought. So what now? You gonna hold me on some trumped up charge or you gonna turn me loose? Hmm. I think I'll just keep you right here. Get a material witness order. Ice you. Yeah, till this whole thing shakes out cleaner than a choir boy's picker. I can't listen to future plans, but the things you've already done and the people with whom you've done them, that I need to know. Go ahead, press on. Privilege was clearly in place. Once I tell you who he is, Ira, we can't go back. It's a real mind blower. Yeah, we should all brace ourselves for what's coming. Yes. Well, do it, Dad. Say the name. Well, I mean, at this point, it's got to be clear, right? The idiot in question is Brian Connerty. Yes, well, the rub of it is, if Connerty is listening right now, it means he's crossed all legal and ethical bounds and our little plan is about to bear fruit. But uh, you're not listening, are you? Brian? Because you don't break the law. But if he is headphones on right now, it means he's gone completely over the line and committed all manner of crimes that, that led to this. And his arrest is uh, moments away. Which is why we dubbed the man the idiot. Should have called him the fucking idiot. <sighs> Fuck. You should probably say it again, louder, because, yeah, you are fucked. Even when you know it's coming, that last moment of freedom, it's hard to leave it behind. Pull him out of there! I used to think it was a total waste of $60 million. The third plane. Of course it's a waste, just like everything in the top right corner of the risk and control matrix. Right up until you need it. So how does this work? I'm a little too tall to fit into a cello case. Outfitted as a private cargo jet. Special container that houses a regular seat. You'll be quite comfortable, I assure you. Medical instruments on the manifest, no passengers. You'll board the chopper to satisfy the tail, and then pass through out into a waiting vehicle. 
I'll have things taken care of on the other end long before you land. It's good to be the king. Paul, you are a true professional. In other circumstances, uh, those words coming from you would actually uh, make me smile. Fuck. Well, this turned into a tough day, Rhodes. I need a drink. Lady Bertilak, members only tonight. I've never seen a bridge club with so many patrons under 25. I'd like to see him try and play a hand. It's clear. We got nothing. It's all good. They're gone. They didn't find anything. Damn right. Next time I pay every employee their full night's wages, something unspeakable is going to transpire and I will be right in the middle of it. <sighs> Mr. Rhodes, Chuck, if you relent, there's a road to convincing Mr. Prince to walk away. You want a thing strategic retreat? Expensive game of chicken. I'll play. Eight. Nine. Okay, hold up. Let me just advise my client. Mike, we can beat the case if there is one. It's not worth losing billions if they're there. Stop this. Ten. You just sacrificed over three billion dollars. Well, shit, I lost my fucking bet. <laughs> I don't fucking believe it. He thinks... He must think that there's another way to open those drives. I told you, I don't have the passwords. I will arrange a bill right away. Once you're finished with him, you can escort Mr. Allard from the building. I feel like I've seen this movie before. <laughs>
No, the only way that plane is empty is if there was a parachute on board. Get Lou off that plane as peacefully as possible, but be prepared for a forced entry. Detain the pilot if you have to. Party crasher. Hold! Prince, I thought his text said you could have him. Let's see where this goes. That plane starts the taxi, take out the tires! Kid gave himself up. Wasn't his idea. This man was a fugitive from justice attempting to flee. Which is why I ordered my plane to land. As a U.S. citizen, nothing is more important than obeying the law. And as a sworn upholder of those laws, I'll take it from here. <laughs> 